In this video, I'll show you two examples on how to calculate compound interest continuously. I want to start off with a bit of theory. Normally, we're asked to calculate compound interest either annually or monthly using the compound interest formula, this one and this one, respectively. If you take the limit specifically of this part of the equation, and you take the limit where n approaches infinity, let's say a very, very large value for n, you'll end up with the number 2.71828, which is referred to as Euler's number. And this special number is denoted with the letter E. Therefore, instead of using that expression, when it comes to compounding something continuously, we can use E instead for continuous growth, making this equation look like this. That being said, question one reads, to what amount will an initial deposit of 500 accumulate if invested at a compound interest rate of 6.5% per year for eight years, and interest is being compounded continuously. To do this question, let's outline everything that has been given to us. We are told that the principal amount is 500. That will serve as our A, so A is equal to 500. The interest rate is 6.5%, and that has to be in decimal form. So we take 6.5 and we divide it by 100, I is equal to 6.5 divided by 100 should give us 0 0.065. Furthermore, we are told that it will happen for the next eight years. Our T value will be eight. And now we have all the information we need to plug in to this equation, where we have Y is equal to 500 E to the power of nt, and here n represents our interest rate of 0 0.065, and t represents the number of interest periods, which is 8. Let's use our calculator to compute this. 500 times e, and that can be accessed by clicking alpha e to the power of decimal 0 0.065 times 8 giving us 841 and one cent. Since they want it to the nearest cent, we can disregard this one and simply write down 841. We can even take this a step further and subtract this number from 500 and that will give you the amount of interest earned over this period. Let's move on to question two. In question two, we're asked a quantity grows exponentially at a rate of 2% per minute, by how many times will it have increased after four hours? Notice that in this question, they don't tell us the initial amount. And if they ever give you a situation where they don't tell you the initial amount, you can always set A to one as a default. So A is equal to one, and our rate is 2%. So N is equal to two divided by 100, and we end up with 0 0.02 per minute. By how many times will it have increased after four hours? Now look, your rate, which we refer to as n, is in minutes, but the time, t, is four hours. Unfortunately, n and t do not agree with each other. So what we have to do is change four hours so that it corresponds to the rate. Let's multiply this by 60 minutes over one hour. What this will do is we'll cancel out the hours, giving us simply minutes. So four times six is 240 minutes. All we have to do now is substitute these values into the formula, where we have our initial amount of one e to the power of 0 0.02 times 240. Using our calculator, alpha this button to the power of 0 0.02 times 240 gives us 121.5. 121.5. If the quantity grows exponentially at a continuous rate, 2% per minute, it will have increased by a factor of 121.5 from the original A. And so there you have it. Two examples on how to calculate compound interest continuously.